If you're looking for an alternative to Mid Journey, a cheaper generative AI tool, you should be looking at Leonardo AI. Now, Leonardo AI is just as good as Mid Journey. Some even say it's better than Mid Journey. Personally, I prefer it, not only because it's free, but it has so many features. You can come up with amazing images, super realistic images. And these are images that you can even use on your website. You can use them rather than using copyright images. You can easily generate images here for your website. So even if you're doing something like interior designing, you can come up with images like these. Okay. If you're a car enthusiast, you can come up with images like this. Or if you have a website and you blog about cars, you can come up with images like this. Or you can even just use them as wallpapers for your computer wallpapers. And Leonardo AI comes up with realistic images. Sometimes you can never really differentiate. Coming up with hyper-realistic photorealistic images. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can come up with the best images. I'm going to be showing the best Leonardo AI prompts that you can be using to come up with the best images. Now, some of these prompts compared to Mid Journey are very easy. They are very more uh, straightforward. As you can see this one here for these interior design images, just look at the prompt. It's modern, expensive living room. And that's it. And Leonardo is going to do a really good job. Just look at these images, super high quality. These are professional images that are done by uh, interior designers. Now, it won't get everything perfect all the time. As you can see, this is supposed to be like a seat. But as you can see, it's not really flat. It has some rough edges at the top over here. Some of them are really protruding. So you will get some tiny mistakes here and there. As you can see over here, there's some weird uh, kind of connection here between these pillows. It's like the two pillows that have been mixed together. So if you look around, you really find these uh, small mistakes with the Leonardo AI. They're not really big. It's not something that can put you off from the image, but they're really small mistakes. This is another prompt. Okay, for this one, I came up with, I just typed white modern living room with artwork. Okay, and this is what it came up with. So you can see the details are really, really good. I didn't seem to find any mistake with this one here. Okay, let's have a look at this. So for this one, it's just this uh, table lamp. Okay, it's like it has kind of two legs, right? So it's not really a big deal. Let's have a look at this one here. Okay. Um, and this one here, you can find really small mistakes. As you can see here, this is supposed to be a vase or a vase. Something like this, which holds plants, but it's alone. It doesn't have the plants. Okay, and then somewhere over here, there's a small mistake, right? And I don't really know what this is. But you can't really say the pictures have a problem. As you can see, this one is a vertical one. Okay, so this one is one of the best. I didn't really seem to find any mistake with this one here. Okay, so for this one, it was a white modern bedroom with artwork. And as you can see, the images are looking really, really good. Okay, so for interior designers, uh, the work will be very easy. Just typing very simple prompts like this will get them really, really good images. On to our next image. Um, this is for Tesla. Okay, so this one I just typed ride Tesla Model 3, hyper realistic, photorealistic, 3D, 8K, 16 by 9. Now the 16 by 9 is not really necessary. You can just leave it at 3D, 8K. Okay, so just look at the quality of these images. Just look at the bouncing light, the lighting effect. Now one thing you can do with Leonardo AI or even Mid Journey is that you can uh, direct the position of the light. If you want the light to be on the right hand side, if you want the light to be on the left hand side or at the top you can do that now this one had some mistakes as you can see the seats over here there's some confusion here with the seats it looks like a three seater or four seater at the front so it won't get everything perfect but as you can see everything else looks really really good really accurate from the uh, bumper the logo the headlights the wheels okay let's go on to the next one so this is one of my favorite this one just the same prompt all different variations this one had a mistake with the logo as you can see but just look at the lighting effect really really professional hyper realistic okay thanks to that prompt this hyper realistic prompt over here okay if you look at this now i didn't really seem to find any mistake with this one yes this one you can say was perfect the logo is not so bad the arrangement of the seats is also accurate okay maybe the side mirrors okay it's kind of a flat at the bottom here okay so that was the only mistake I found with that. And lastly, we have this one here. So again, uh, a small mistake with the logo, just a little bit. All right. But everything else was okay. 
So another prompt was this one, just for Tesla. This one was a Tesla Model 3, Blue Tone Ambient Light, Hyper Realistic, Photo Realistic, 3D 8K. Okay, came up with this. Didn't seem to see any error over here, just with the logo. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay, this one changed the color just a little bit, but everything else seems accurate. Okay, maybe the logo over here. Okay, it seems to be having trouble with the logo. Okay, again, an issue with the logo over here. Everything else seems to be fine. Maybe the positioning of the seats turn is way too behind. All right, let's have a look at this one here. Again, not so bad. It got the image. Uh, I got the logo right this time, but a little bit of an issue with the interior. Uh, the seats don't really look uh, in order. Okay, but what I really love about Leonardo is the lighting effect. Looks so good, especially if you have a 4K monitor. This is going to come out really, really good. Now let's have a look at this one here. This is also BMW. Uh, the prompt is kind of similar. BMW M3 Futuristic Blue Tone Ambient Light hyper-realistic, photorealistic, 3D, 8K. As you can see, I'm just repeating the same prompt. What I'm only changing here is the name of the car, okay? The rest of it is just the same. So, futuristic, blue tone, ambient light, hyper-realistic, photorealistic, 3D, 8K. So, this is what you use for these types of images. Now, you can change the color. The tone, you can actually change it. You can give it any other color uh, that you want here. It doesn't have to be blue, red, green. You can change any color from there. So this is what it came up with. Okay, not really accurate. This is more of a modified M3 or a racing M3. Okay, uh, but so far it got everything. Maybe just the text over here. It usually has uh, these generative images or generative AIs usually have issues with the text. You're going to find that mistake a lot. But everything else came out accurate. Okay, the headlights perfect. The logo perfect. The grille, the front bumper, uh, positioning of the seats. Everything else looks good. Let's have a look at this other one. Mm, okay, this one I'm not really too sure with the shape. Okay, the front the front bumper uh, or the front part appears to be bigger than the back. But it's not all that bad. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so this one is kind of similar to the front one in terms of the design. Okay, so again, not really much of mistakes over here. Maybe just an issue here with the denting. It's not really uh, proportionate to this side. Okay, let's have a look at the last one here. Okay, so again, what I really love is just the lighting effect. Really, really good. It looks like a studio production. Okay, this time it's got the logo perfectly here. I like the headlights, it got the headlights accurately. The bumper is what I'm not really sure. Okay, this seems to be a modified uh, bumper, BMW M3 bumper. Okay. Otherwise, everything else was okay. Let's have a look at these glasses. Okay, so for the glasses here, this one was a bottle of Johnny Walker, okay, whiskey being poured into a crystal glass with iStudio background. So let's have a look at this one here. Just look at the lighting effects. This looks so real. If you put this one to an actual glass of whiskey that was taken with a DSLR camera or an iPhone camera, you might not really tell the difference. They look so real. Okay, just look at the lighting effects. I like the way the light bounced on the right hand side over here. The reflection of the glass, the light reflection of the glass. Just look at the crystals. This is supposed to be ice cubes. This was one of the best images that came out from this prompt. Let's have a look at this one here. Okay, this is also another amazing one. So this one has actually been poured onto the glass. You can see the splashing effects. Just look at that. It looks so real. Um, let's have a look at this one. Okay, now this one also was a good one. I just didn't like the shape of this. It doesn't look straight. But if you just ignore this section over here and just look at the bottle itself, this was supposed to be a Jack Daniels uh, bottle, okay, being poured onto this glass over here. Okay, again, really, really good. Let's have a look at this one. So this one was actually the worst. I think it got confused with the shape of the glass. I think it wanted to come up with the, you know, those types of glass which are wider at the bottom and thin at the top. I think it wanted to come up with that, but uh, it mixed the two. But I love the lighting effect. Just look at this lighting effect over here. Just look at the way it pours. It also got this. This is supposed to be a Johnny Walker uh, whiskey. Like I told you, it normally gets text wrong. So there's a confusion over here. Now we have another one here. This one is a bottle of wine being poured into a crystal glass with a studio background to the lighting. Okay. So this is what it came up with. Okay. I like this one. I just don't like the way it had sharpened 
um, the crystals or the cubes. I think it mistook it for crystals. But if you just ignore that, this looks really, really good. Uh, have a look at this one here. This one, it was completely confused with the glass. It didn't know where to put the glass. It has like a wine glass over here. Then it has like a whiskey glass over here. And there's a bit of confusion over here. It didn't really know what's going on. Let's have a look at this one here. This is one of the best. It's only that, um, as you can see, it's splashing out of the glass. If we didn't have this, it would have looked really, really good. And this one here, again, it's okay. This is fine, actually. This is how I wanted the cubes to be, not really sharp. But as you can see, the shape of this whiskey bottle is not really accurate. And it has some kind of uh, drinks uh, swirling around the top here. Okay. So you will find these mistakes sometimes with Leonardo AI. But most of the times, it'll come up with really, really good images. Now, if you want to get the full prompt of this one here, as you can see, the prompt continues. They're actually on my website. I've actually listed the best prompts, uh, the best Leonardo prompts for realistic photos. So this is also another one. You can come up with an image like this. So this one here is the poster that depicts a future space landscape in the background. Various planets and stars are shown, giving the impression of boundless space and adventure. Okay. So this is not really realistic. This is more of artsy. So if you're into these types of art uh, images, you can use this type of prompts to come up with these types of images. Yeah. So for this one here is an urban metropolis. If you want something like a city or urban metropolis, it's a very, very simple prompt. Just look at this. Skyscraper City 4K. Okay. That is a prompt. We also have portraits of emotions. So these are portraits. This is one of the best that you can find with Leonardo AI. It comes up with really human-like, realistic images. Just look at this one here. Now, most people would think this is actually a real person. This was generated by an AI. Now, this was a prompt, so it's very lengthy. Okay, this is the entire prompt over here. And this is the only way that you can achieve such a realistic image. Okay, another one is this one here. This is also an amazing portrait of human images so this here is a prompt okay this is the entire prompt all of the prompts are just below the images okay so we also have nature's wonders this is also more of artsy not really uh, realistic and this is the prompt over here relaxing nature view colorful realistic forest mountain view high detailed 8k okay so next we have still life vignettes so this is what you can come up with if you want uh, still life images or still life vignettes these are actually images that you can even print out and frame them on your wall. You know, frame them and put them in your living room. Leonardo AI can do just that. So this is the prompt over here. An abstract still life fruit on the dark background with pieces of breakfast creating a sense of movement and glimmer of light reflecting off the stainless steel table. All right. Next, we have this one here. So I've already showed you about this one here. Here is a prompt. This is a full prompt. Okay. And then for cars as well and then you also have the interior design okay so if you want more uh prompts you can just visit my website i'll also link it down in the description that's robertokello.com